Well, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am Nick here with Ryan and Ty. What's Ty? up? All right, new band today, Muse. Muse. Mm. Have you heard of this band? I've heard of Muse. Never listened to Muse. Have you seen Muse on the news? No. Oh, okay. Is it Muse an app? Possibly. It's like a music <laughs> app? Muse is a pretty common word. Well, that's the only place I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> Muse are an English rock band from Tinmouth, Devon, formed in 1994. The band consists of Matt Bellamy, lead vocals, guitar, keyboards, Chris Wolstenholm, mm -hmm. bass guitar, backing vocals, and Dominic Howard on drums. They have released eight albums, won two Grammys, and have sold over 20 million records worldwide, and they are still going today. So the song we're doing today is Hysteria, or as Ryan would like to say, Hysteria. Hysteria, baby. <laughs> uh, of course, we did Def Leppard. Hysteria, which we all like that song. Yeah. Love that song. That song's on my playlist. Yes. But this is not a cover of that song. It just happens to be <laughs> the same title. This song reached number nine on the U.S. Billboard Modern Rock Chart. And it's from their third album, Absolution, released in 2003. And the album went platinum. And that's pretty much it, boys and girls. Let's go ahead and do this. This is Muse, Hysteria. <laughs> Buzz, buzz, buzz. What a what a buzzy song. Yeah. Buzz Lightyear. I mean, if you want bass, here you go. It just glides. I mean, that baby is operating. That baby. Uh, that's got to be one of the best bass lines in recent memory. I mean, I, I'm not going to sit here and say I know, like, you know. <laughs> every bass line. Songs the from the mid-2000s. <laughs> every single song. But, I mean, it just has to be. <laughs> Listen to the bass. And then you have that quick guitar band. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. It's like a little, little chilly. Little, little spice of chili. You know when somebody's eating chili and they're like, "Did you make this spicy?" You're like, "Yeah, I just put a little, <laughs> I just put a little pepper flake in." They're like, "It's too spicy for me." You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I like it spicy. I, mean, I like it spicy. I don't know about you guys. I mean, I don't That's like it. Chili. I don't like it to where it's like like it's killing me, where I can't enjoy it. <laughs> You know, I just wanted to make me drink. Like I just turn around, your mouth flames is coming out of your mouth. <laughs> yeah. So that little bend, I mean, that's I like that. It's just like, here you go. Just how about that? How, how's that for you? Little spice. It like it like tickles my ears when I'm listening. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of because cool. because it buzzes. It like gives you that little <laughs> buzz in your ear. I, I like his vocals. I mean, it does kind of sound like he's this close to the mic. I mean, it does sound like that, but it's not like an ear rape. You know, for, for some reason, they really wanted to put uh, the vocals kind of in front. It's it's not a mix where it's like it's too much in front, but you can just tell, like, they wanted to put an emphasis on the vocals. You know, he kind of has, like, an airy quality, uh, and his inflection is interesting. And that little progression where it's... Dun, 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 dun. And then he goes even higher. Dun, dun, dun. I mean that that works, man. That that little progression, that's that little spice I'm talking about. It just works. The beat sounds like uh like you're about to go to a boss battle. 
<laughs> like, like you, I could see like four people just walking up. Yeah. And you just see the giant monster in front of you. I'm like, oh, the climax is coming. That's what it sounded like to me. Yeah, it kind of has like an urgent feeling too. Yeah. It sounds like you're up against a clock. I just picture a guy in a suit running in a downtown area. And it's like the year 2050. You know, I don't know what he's running from, but uh, he's running out of time. No, but overall, it just it just sounds slick to me. You just don't hear music like this unless you seek it out, really. You know what it sounds like to me? When somebody's running on a treadmill, you see them videos where they, where they, they just fall and they zip right off of it. Oh, really? That's what it, that's what it sounds like to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zip, like right off of it. But it gives it, me that feeling. It is kind of fancy, though. Like, if you want to put your pinky up for this one, <laughs> I wouldn't be mad at you. Fantastic ending. Yes. My yeah. type of ending. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful finish. You know, I just imagine the guy uh, sprinting, and then he just, like, jumped from a building out of a helicopter. <laughs> Still in a suit. Overall, it's just such a slick song to me. You could release this now, and I think this would be in the mainstream. And I always try to think, like, what do I like about this most? And it has to be the progression. The verses get better. The solo gets better as that goes on. The final chorus is the most impactful, you know, even changing the lyrics. And then you have that uh, coiling ending that just puts the finishing touches on it. You know, that's just two thumbs up for the arrangement alone. I thought the arrangement is just a hell of a job. This would end up on the playlist, I think. The, the ending saved me. It was on the borderline. I was like, this is probably going to make it. I'm not too sure if it's going to make it. But the ending brought it home. It's going on the playlist. It reminds me of Tool meets The Killers. That's what it reminds me of. Oh, interesting. If you put them two together, this, I feel like, is what Mm. it would sound like. Wow. Um, I don't know if you catch that vibe, too, but I do. It's just the heaviness of Tool and the the singing and just the, the style of... You know, the, the okay. chorus and everything. It just reminds me of the two of them blended together. Hmm. Again, I, I, I said this about Deftones. The way this guy drums reminds me of how, if I were to be in <laughs> band, yeah. that's how I would drum. I thought the drumming would get you here. Yeah, the drumming yeah. here is, for me, that is how I want my drums to sound. The Just the way, I don't know how to explain it. I, this is just coming from it's somebody. Just very, who, it's very loose, is what yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. It's just... 
pa 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 pa. That yeah, that's your type of stuff. I like. I just like the you know the taka, 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 just using taka, everything. Taka, taka, taka. The, yeah. You know, just yeah. you get a hot head in every now and again, <laughs> a crash. Yeah. You know, he just kind of uses everything. That's yep. basically how you know I like my drums and. This guy and the Deftone, Deftones guy, both, you know, just my yeah. style. L- learn the name. Learn the name. Yeah. Deftones. I want to say it's uh, Deftone guy. Armstrong or something. No, no, no. Turn no. <laughs> the A. Abe Cunningham. Abe. I knew that. There you go. Am I going to have to bring Deftones again? Abe. No, with only. used to it. No, I know it's starting with an A. I said Armstrong, but I knew it was an A, man. Armstrong. It's like a Green Day over here. Yeah. Billy Joe. Yeah, I was on the fence as well in the beginning. I'm big on the chorus, but I'm not big on the verses. I don't know what it is. I think it's like the cadence of his voice on the chorus just sounds better. I think the verses are cool. They're not terrible. You know, they're not, oh, get him out of here. Make something new. Just write something yeah. you know but i just think his voice is just it's better and in the beginning it's kind of i don't i don't know i think it's how he comes into the verse you can't really hear him until they bump his voice up. yeah i don't really listen to his voice to be honest with you i wasn't really paying attention too much to the vocal i, the I thought he kind of used it more as an instrument yeah me too because because of the way the way he, he stretches in the verses dun, dun, dun. I feel like that's just... Like I'm hearing more... That's just playing on the melody. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I hear the melody more or less than the, you know, lyrics. Well, they, the, you the even heard me say it. Like, when I think of the verses, I'm just hearing... Yeah, I'm like just the hearing thing, the yeah. melody. You know what I'm saying? I agree. It's not like, uh, you know, Lane Staley or, you know, somebody... I'm, I'm hanging on every word. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. I just think that... First listen... That's all. It's all. Yeah, right. I, to me, when, right. it, when I, the the singer is the most important thing to me to a band because I like the singing. Oh, I like the, the singing songs. is what's going to capture me because I, I like the instruments. Yes, but the singing has to capture me, or I'm not going to like the song. Right. Because I'm not as big on the guitar as in the, in the instruments like a y'all are. Unless it's a certain yeah. instrument, I think we all know you're what that there. is. You're not there. <laughs> Unless it's the sax. Unless it's like <laughs> now, I did like the solo. I like the second yeah. part when he. You know, he pitched the... Started shredding it. Yeah, I like that, too. And the, and the, the solo is, like, again, sneakily good. Yeah. <laughs> like, I wanted to replay it, but, like, the progression yeah. is just so good the at it. Like, you just can't yeah. stop it. And I think that's good how he brought the, the chorus back right after the solo. The way he sings that part matched the, yeah. the, the guitar. He comes right in every other time, so you shouldn't change it that time. Exactly. If he went lower than the guitar, it wouldn't have matched. But since he yeah. kept the same energy as the guitar where yeah. it was, I think it was fire. It was consistent. It probably makes the playlist for me. Yeah. And I like the different sounds, too. How they yeah. just throw, like, you know, random sounds in there. Does I think it remind like you of too. Tool a little bit? Yeah. Just yeah. the heaviness of the bass is what kind of gets me. Yeah. In the, in the I don't know, the style that he's singing in kind of reminds me of Maynard. Mm. Just a little bit more strong. He kind of has the tone of the killers, <laughs> but the, the way yeah. he's singing it kind of reminds me of Maynard. That. I can see that. I feel like this is a song where... Uh, if you're a musician, you probably like marvel at this song in a way because, again, be- because of the way this is mixed, there's a lot of things that like our ears probably didn't even catch. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, there's, there's so many there. sounds, yeah. and there's so many changes with the bass and the guitar. This would uh, take a lot more drums. listens for me to exactly. fully hear it. Exactly. I, th- I think another good thing is if you're listening to a song and you imagine a million things that could go with the song, I think yeah. it's a good song as well. When I hear this song, I just picture like, 900 movies. Yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what I, like, I was trying to imagine what I would see, but I kept seeing like 5,000 yeah. different movies. And it's either like a sci-fi or action. Yeah, movie. yeah, it has to be Explosions, sci-fi action. Explosions, yeah. spaceships, guns, I mean, it's but, everything. But I can even see it like in a horror movie yeah. as well. So I think this song just does a great job of like covering all areas of like what you want to hear in rock music. You know, it's got a little electronic as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but again, the, the progression is just off the charts. You know, I feel the same way when I watch a movie. Like, when a movie gets better from beginning to end, and, like, the ending is fire, it's like, dude, that was an amazing movie. Yeah. yeah. And that's how I feel about that song. It just builds and builds and builds. So, yeah, I love it. Big time replay value for me. Give us some more Muse suggestions. That's it, guys. Don't forget to drop a like, and as always, please tell us your views. Thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. Peace, Peace out. out.